Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. The new engineers arrived this morning. For new engineers to arrive. We're always glad to have more help down here. Uh, all right. So, first things first. Let's just make a bunch of mine shields. I mean, we have a bunch that we can make. So, um, so you're wondering why I oddly did not continue on last time from where I left off uh, and tried to spin the world and globe because we're on the final mission. And uh, looks like uh, Mkuto is going to be our uh, volunteer, actually, for the way I'm planning this out. So we equip him with Psy Armor. We also give him a Mind Shield on top of that. And then we go and uh, open up the Gal Chamber. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we've been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. Good with that. So, uh, all forward progress will be stopped. Research will not be completed. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's see if anyone's injured, just in case. Yeah, no, everyone's fine. Okay. Figured I should do that. Uh, all right. Am I sure I wish to proceed? We will proceed. And Mkudu is the volunteer. With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. At long last, you have succeeded where we have failed. Now we assault the uh, the temple ship, and now we have a mission for that. No more spinning the globe. And the temple ship has appeared, now's our chance. This may be our hardest mission yet. Well, uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go. I can just imagine that we brought, like, uh, Mkudo in there, because we were like, yeah, go touch the thing. <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, anyways, okay, so, on my snipers, uh, I'm all for having them with the scope. Because I need them to make the the hits that they want to make, uh, that they need to make, basically. Uh, Mkudo, our volunteer, will be running Psy Armor and Mind Shield, because you're actually unable to change it at this point. Actually, yeah, no, actually just the armor. But uh, Mind Shield is a good idea for him anyways. Uh, Triple Strike will be running a Mind Shield. And we'll also put on Ghost Armor. And Zhang will also run... Uh, Ghost Armor, and also Mind Shield. So my heavies are at the front lines, I want them to kind of live. Um, but my snipers are in the back, hopefully Mind Shields will not be necessary. Um, and I actually have never ever attempted to do the final mission with Ghost Armor. But, uh, you know, it it's, you know, I've, I've been playing with it a lot this run, uh, this run uh, throughout this uh, LP, and I've actually... I'm kind of sold on it myself. Like, I know I've been kind of going, Oh, I love fucking Ghost Armor. Oh, man, everyone tells me it sucks all the time. You know, this is like the acid test kind of. Um, unfortunately, he can't have Ghost Armor. And that's... Well, she. She can't have Ghost Armor. He's a he in real life, but... Uh, soldier is a she, apparently. Um, he can't have the Ghost Armor. Uh, and that's that's a problem. That's why, actually, I made him the, the volunteer. Because I was gonna make Mr. Colon actually be the, the volunteer. However, uh, I need him to cloak. He needs to have the cloaking ability. Because it's it's not only invaluable for getting a good sniper shot off, it's invaluable for tons of other things. So, uh, with that, uh, this is our last uh, our last mission. Uh, you know, it is Iron Man. 
Although I think I don't think on Iron Man you if you lose I think you just restart the whole thing. But you know, we may not. And this this may be the last time we see some of these people. Not everybody will survive this and I'm prolonging this. Let's go. The last time we see the Sky Ranger depart. It's time to go save Earth, motherfuckers. We have visual on the mission site. Setting to Okay, apparently we get no pep talk to this, this time. You hear our voice, new one. Now listen well. You are aware you're talking about him, Kido. I mean... Fucker's not that talented. Let me tell you that, I know him very well. I think they give him too much credit. They're gonna be very disappointed when they get to beat him, Kido, for the first time. Alright, I don't even- I didn't even see a door there, but, uh... Well, here we are. Okay, we don't want to go too much down there. How far can my he my heavies can actually move pretty far. Let's move them first. Yay, sectoids! You guys miss sectoids? Oh, even more sectoids. Well, uh, we're gonna get plenty of uh, opportunities to make some shots, so you know who cares. All right, look at this: 99, 70, 90, whatever. Ollie, there's no music. So they're taunting us right now. Now what sucks is, uh, we don't actually get the opportunity for, uh, any kind of... What? Oh, well, oh, this is Sectoid Commander. Damn, son. Uh, if I go here, they're gonna get flanked. Yeah, let me go see what we got. Cause this is my this is my psi person, so it's a seventeen percent chance. Ninety five on that though. Oh, that wasn't too hard. It was a chance. I did take a chance there. So you guys afraid yet? Scare cam go. Now, uh, MQDO now actually has this cool ability called Rift, which I'm sure we'll get to use in a little bit. Um, but for the time being, we're actually trying to have a look around, because uh, he spawns something, I think, up there, but we can't actually see anything. Uh, so we could potentially throw a battle scanner up there. Um, that's one option. I would rather not use my uh, sniper stuff yet, so we're gonna just get MQDO actually just to pop down here. So what he's explaining to us right now is the aliens that they brought into their, uh, basically their collective, their slaves essentially, uh, that's my assumption that I've gotten from this, 
and gotta love, uh, still, still a very sniper heavy squad I have here until the end. Excellent. I mean, it's a hundred percent chance to hit. Alright, and you can just go shoot the last one. It's 90% of Kudo. Excellent stuff. Alright. And everyone else can go on Overwatch just for this turn. Yeah, this is what we were concerned about. <laughs> so much for that. Oh god, there's another one. And everyone's just gonna take turns. You know, XCOM is rather prepared today. Oh god, it's a cyber disc. Well, apparently we're gonna... Come on. Another hit. Aww. Th three times is not a charm. Is this all you have to send at us, alien forces? Oh god, don't shoot him, please. Well, that was a crit. Luckily, we come prepared. Wow. He's about to get absolutely wrecked. Destroy him. 17 damage. Uh, I, oh, that's right. He already had his uh, his double tap last turn. All right. So uh, I'm gonna move Zhang actually over here. Uh, and with that, I will actually apparently cannot heal him because he wasn't actually in there yet. It has to happen when he you first trigger his turn. It's only a flesh wound, it's okay. This is why we bring the medics along. We're just gonna make sure that no one else kinda pops out and surprises us. Cause you know, there was sectoids on uh, one end there, you know? So it's safe to assume that they're probably over here as well. Oh, no, they're not, okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's get moving up here. So we're gonna take the high ground, obviously, because um, it, it's just a really good idea to take the high ground. Let's just go with that. Alright, and we're just gonna get my guys to come over here. You know, the aliens are doing the typical bad guy mistake, which is they're explaining all their all their uh, intentions, all their naughty intentions to me. Which gives me the opening to win. Alright, let's see what's up here. Nobody's up there, alright. Which means we all get the opportunity to actually move up our snipers. Yeah. I would love to have Volkov go up here. Because they'll be in a much better covering position. I want to avoid using the Ghost Harbor for the time being. It's just, it's just plain not a good idea. Alright. Uh, let's see, where can I bring my snipers? Uh... Okay, well, uh, let's get, you know, Mkudo to lead, because... We, we actually secretly want him to die. <laughs> I'm an asshole. But we all know this already. Alright, and the heavies will follow up on the back. And uh, I can't really do anything with this guy, so. All right, and Volkov, switch to your pistol. Because, um, you know, we don't want to take any chances. We want to have everybody in Overwatch. I mean, it's free shots for everybody. All right. Uh, okay, triple strike. What do you see? Oh, floater. Alright, uh, so we kind of want to make sure we can actually hit that float over there. There we go. Sweet. Uh, we might as well just keep shooting them. I mean, I see no reason not to. These are just like the simple floaters, they're not even a problem. Is this all you have to send at me? so. Alright. 
Uh, and that last one will, uh... I mean, he can shoot him. 90%. Like, come on. There we go. Alright, uh... I guess Mkuta will move slightly up. Oh, wait, there's another one. I wasn't actually expecting that. Well, it's 90% anyways. I should never say it's just a 90% anyways. That's, that's just a bad sign. Zhang, it's up to you to, uh... To make up for uh, Mkuta's failures. Why were you the fucking volunteer? Jesus. Someone didn't spend uh, spend enough time on the target range. Your Mkuta's Earth's last hope. This is why we're all screwed. Okay, well, uh, you know, he's uh, talking about how they're only good for breeding the chrysalids. Uh, too much information there, thanks very much for that. It was one thing I really didn't want to hear about during this mission, is how chrysalids breed. I, I have seen it firsthand. It is horrifying. Uh, what? Oh. Why can this guy not move? Did I reload with him this turn? I must have. I must be crazy, sorry. So as you can see, really no threat so far. And then you're wondering to yourself, well Mike, what's the catch? And the catch is that shit's gonna come at us really soon. But it's, it is the final mission, so you have to expect, uh, actually no, you go over here. I want Volkov over here. Uh, I guess you can just go up here. I'm cute to just kind of hop down here. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's the best route to take, okay. Well gonna just move my I guess I'll just move my snipers in first here because then they'll get a good angle up So, the ex gift that he's referring to is psychic powers of psychicness. Now, uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but um, they have that stupid ass dust cloud right now. Um, and, uh, well, <laughs> I, I, I'm not equipped with armor that actually goes through that. This would be the one counter to the way I'm doing this mission right now, is uh, I can't, I have to wait for that to go away. We'll just kind of chill out here. Is it gone now? Yeah, okay, there it goes. All right. Well, you know, let's uh, have a look around. So, you can see that there's a little bit of progression here. Like, it's getting progressively more difficult. Oh, what? Where the hell? Why the hell was the Thin Man over there? Piece of shit. Well, now you get to die. That's the last place I expected them to be, to be honest. Mkuto, go go see if that place is clear. I don't want another surprise. Okay, no, there's no there's no thin men over there. Alright. Or is there? No, there's no thin men. Alright. This 
place is scary. So we're progressively seeing all the aliens they've taken over. It's explaining everything right now. So they're looking for people with the gift. Which is uh, interesting shit. Alright, um... This place looks like a bit of an arena. Um... Ah, darn. Alright. We can move over here and we can possibly get a shot off. I risk of being a sectopod or something scary. Um, I could cloak. I really don't want to though. Um, but my snipers are actually the best to move up right now. And the reason for that being is uh, I have like rockets I can fire like from really far away. I don't want to really use the rockets either to be honest. Uh, so it's, it's a tough call. It's a tough call to make, especially on Iron Man. And that, you know what, with that, I don't really know why I wasn't using the battle scanner. So let's let's actually just see what's in the room. Oh, it's just a, it's a Muton Elite. All alone. Poor guy. Alright, well, with that, I, I found my confidence has kind of come back. Never mind. Yeah, this is not happening today. I'm just telling you that right now. Oh, there's another one right there. Does he actually have an ankle on s Oh, he has an ankle on him. Well, luckily he has his defense. They have actually a ton of defense. Because they have a... Uh, ooh, boy. Overwatch. Well, these guys should be able to get shots off on... on oh, my sniper should be able to kill most of these guys. Yeah, that was a bit concerning. I, I totally was did not come prepared for this. <laughs> oh god, the cover. <laughs> wow. Get wrecked, son. Alright. Well, what do we have? Uh, it's just the 100% down there. What do you have? You probably have the 100% in the other place. Yeah. I'll just kill him. That was, uh, that was actually pretty hilarious. Now there is a guy like right around the corner. Uh, I if I came out there, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, well, I would be able to, but I would actually take fire coming back. So let's overwatch this and see what happens. Okay, he's in a much worse spot now, actually, so I can actually move up there if I choose to. Here we go. Okay, this is what we actually wanted to happen. Crazy as it might sound. Alright. Uh, well. Let's go say hello. Uh, alright, we have a couple of options here. Um, I can try and, like, shoot down on him from here. Let's see if we can do that. We can shoot one right there. My other, my other person would probably be able to get a, a nice pistol shot off. I, I, of course, take the risk that the other one is going to come back and not be very... He's right below me, right? But, uh, you know, I kind of want to take this guy out. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think, though, Mkudo will be able to do his little mind tricks. So, let's go get him over here. Oh, no, he won't. However, uh, 
I'm gonna introduce you to a little ability that we call Rift. So if you ever want to fucking take out something, you just go like, uh, right here. No? Come on. Yeah, right there. That's good. That'll, uh, that'll teach you what's what. The gift he's of course referring to is the rift ability I just I just used. So we now we have two options. We can either kind of just pop down on him, which means I'll probably get shot at. But you know who cares? Let's just do it. I mean, he was already damaged. <laughs> What's the worst that happens? I get, I heal him again. <laughs> oh my god, Zang. Come on, dude. Uh -huh. That tickle? Oh, now he's, now, now he's not happy. Tag team sniper. Well, that was fun. Alright, uh, where's Mkuto? Mkuto, go, go to, get your ass down here and go heal him. Follow my orders. Alright, let's see. Uh, we have Heal Wound. Because Mkuto's uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, now he's at full health instead of like... That's that's what I wanted! Use up those use up those health packs. You know, might as well. Well, now that everyone's back to full health, we should be relatively happy to continue here. Alright, well, let's see what we've got. Uh... We have a large open area here, and usually when there's a large open area, it means that we have to be careful. Now we do have a bit of problem here, so the Zang, go scout it. Alright. I don't see anything. However, this is the perfect opportunity for my snipers to now move right here. Have a look around. It looks like Griffith or whatever is uh, gonna have to be in a slightly odd position, but that's okay. So uh, now I can kind of move up my snipers into a covering position. Oh. Use one of these rockets. This is the kind of situation we save this for. All right, now we have we have two options. We can either use my other rocket that I have, which I would honestly prefer not doing that. Um, let's see. Let's see how much damage we can do. All right, we could probably take out one of them. This means pretty much on the next turn, my sniper will, will be able to take them out. Um, that doesn't really mean much about this turn. Uh, so this turn, I have a couple of options. I can try and move up some of my people here. And let's see if we can get a shot off on him. And we're not... It's not looking very good right now, actually. So I'm actually almost inclined to move up my people, get ready to... Get ready to come after them. Uh, and I'm gonna move, uh, I'm gonna throw a, a smoke right here. We'll take him out next turn. This should make it relatively hard for him to shoot back. Because they have like, they have like a ton of cover right now. Like, what's their defense bonus at? Like 60? Really? Uh, that would be more than that. Alright, uh... Yeah, well, let's get these guys ready to kind of move in here. Actually, he can shoot. I wasn't really expecting that. All right. Hopefully, he doesn't get killed. Uh, oh, he just Overwatch then. 
Let's see what he does. And he's gonna shoot at my snipers. Yeah, I very rarely ever have my snipers in a position where they ever get shot at. However, it's not even a problem. Like, he, he totally missed. But, you know, that's, that's what I counted on. Uh, get everyone moving up here. Uh, Mkuta's like about, I think, up here, so we'll just move these guys up very slightly. Uh, overwatch everyone, because I'm kind of worried right now. My snipers will remain here. Alright, let's just make sure he's, uh, alright. So, uh, we're coming up on two sides, essentially, and we're doing like this little pincer attack, I guess. That's the word for it. Here we go. Alright, what's my chance to hit on one man? Yeah, see, the sniper's got this. <laughs> Destroyed. Alright. And let's see, Mkuto. You need to move up to roughly the same position. And that's the second one, in parallel position. And once again, Mr. Colin can uh, take a shot. This is like what we want to see, you guys. Hardest mission, teamwork, moving up, and all that jazz. I love teamwork and all that jazz. Right, I'm actually going to spend a turn reloading, because uh, they all kind of used a little bit of ammunition here. Because I don't think we actually activated anybody, so it really shouldn't be an issue. Alright, let's see. Oh, nothing up there, weirdly enough. Alright, uh... Alright, just get my uh, all my uh, players... Oops, come on, triple strike. Don't be afraid, don't be bashful. Come to the front lines. So, if you're having an easy time with this, I guess you've done a good job in the game. Alright, well, uh... Let's spend one more turn just moving up the heavies. Because I, I just want them to be close enough so they can actually get up there and shoot something. If needed, you know you don't know you don't know what kind of angle your sni uh, your snipers will get, so you simply don't know. All right, that that looks actually pretty good. Uh, all right, Griffith. Uh, well, you're heavy. I mean, you can you can go wherever. Well, that this uh this honest to goodness surprises me somewhat. All right, um, guess we'll just uh go right here both my snipers. Yeah, we're okay. I was kind of worried there was like a block there, which I couldn't see, but uh, you know, there's nothing there, so we're okay. Alright, Mkuto, come on over. Say hello. Actually, Mkuto will not be actually coming over here and saying hello. You will actually be... Is this where I think it is? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, nope. He's going back. Okay, so. We have actually finished uh, the game somewhat. Uh, we are in the farthest possible position. Uh, and next up is the final boss. I won't lie. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, start pretending like this is not the final boss, because it really is. Uh, and this is what I've come kind of prepared with my, uh, my, uh, Thing armor for now. This could either go terror, like this could either be like the most depressing moment of my uh, XCOM career, or it could be the, one of the best. So I don't really know at this point. All I know is we need to get everyone in here. 
Now, I don't know how far I can move up. I want to move up as far as possible with everybody without triggering the boss. So I think here is the farthest I will go. Okay. We didn't trigger him. He's like right over there. He's right there. So what we do is we move everyone to these kinds of positions. So, um, the reason why MQDO is just going to stick in the back here is because uh, I can't actually um, use him for the, for the duration of this because it's uh, he doesn't have cloak, so he's just going to get his ass shot at, and that's uh, not good for me. So he'll come in at the end. And now we're going to have hilarious amounts of fun. Alright, now let's see, uh, what's a good sniper perch for my uh, snipers to go into? Ooh, that looks delicious, right over here. Uh, except he can't really get up there. He can get up here potentially, but he would have less of a place. So, let's just say it's going to take a good two turns for my snipers to get into position. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a giant honking thing that's going to block everyone's way. Alright, so everyone cloaks this turn. So, uh, we're going to use a bunch of cloaks. And this is going to be like, this is going to be our finest hour, I can already tell. And, uh, and MQDO, I hope you brought snacks along, because you're just going to be kind of sitting in the back there. You're going to be like, uh, our team's morale, so we're probably going to die. Alright. So, we're going to use dash moves, basically, to get the furthest amount that we can up. Uh, so we're gonna do Stu go here. We're gonna check it out. There we go. There he is. So, Mutons, Elites, oh my. So, this is what we're doing. We're getting into... Now, the great thing is, with this cloak, we can kind of just go as far as we want, um, without it kind of being a problem. Uh, I, 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 this is the uber ethereal, he's got like, one, two, three, four, five bars of health, he's got like 25 health. Uh, my snipers can wreck him, they really can. Uh, so let's go get everyone as far as possible. I, as I said, this could either go horribly or beautifully right now. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna gonna be a beautiful thing because I don't think they'll be able to shoot me while I have cloak. This is the whole strategy that I intended on doing. Uh, you can just kind of go here and Overwatch. Oh Jesus! Don't come down here. Oh God! What is he doing? All right. Is doing something? I'm stuck. Okay, I, I loaded up a save and it just allowed me to go right back. Apparently these ethereals didn't spawn and it, that's why it glitched up. But it let me do the entire turn again, but I made the exact same moves. Which he's doing the exact same thing as well. That's uh, confusing. Alright. Materials are creepy. 
We have established this, though. Oh, oh please bunch up. Okay, so they're gonna overwatch. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean he gets shot, his ass shot up from being revealed. Oh God. <laughs> All right, uh, no sniper shots right now. So we cloak again. And on the next turn, we can pretty much shoot them all. That's why these guys are in a perfect position. And that's why I wanted to kind of do this, because I'm just like, well, I can now position myself. It's like, put your heads up. You're under arrest for 13 violations of the Space Geneva Convention. And I thought it'd be fun. All right. What? Now you see me, now you don't. Aha. Uh, where can I move him for fun? I don't think I really should go into this sparkly, glowy place. Let's just, uh, we'll just leave him there. Oh damn it! You're cut. You're fucking covering the way here. Well, that's okay. Um, these guys are gonna have to move anyway, so let's. Uh, actually, no, they're not. We can just keep them right here. So let's do that. So we go here, and now we end the turn. This is this is interesting to say the least. I mean, they they know I'm here. I just, I just love the fact they're all bunching up like this for me. Oh god, please, please just stay right there. Come on. Come on, yes! Oh man! Fucking XCOM, I love you! This mission brought to you by Ghost Armor. Never leave home without it. Okay, you know, I never really miss these rockets, but... You know, XCOM, this is not the time to start fucking me, okay? I just want to let you know that. All right. You know what I'm actually inclined to do? I'm going to move him away, and I'm going to see what kind of angle I get then. Because, you know, he gets a free turn, so I'm going to ghost him. Move him the fuck... Uh, I was thinking up here, but I may want him to get a shot off later, so let's move him right here. Okay. Oh, man, this is going to be delicious. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Okay, so I can't get that last one, but that's okay. Because we're about to just blow them all to fucking hell. So let's do this. Shredder rocket, go! So we increase all our damage to that uber ethereal. BAM! In the hood, in the hood. And this is why we bring our two, he our two heavies with us. Two heavies equals two rockets. Volkov says hello, and goodbye. What the hell is happening? The ship itself is behaving like a dying star. Becoming a black hole. At this distance, the Earth will be consumed. Central, I'm bugging out. The package is not on board. Waited as long as I could, sir. Sir, the alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up.
Well, that ends our uh, epic adventure on Iron Man Classic. And uh, that's the end. It's a bit of an abrupt ending. I don't know if anything happens at the end. Um, there we go. Uh, so, no looking back and ain't no cavalry coming achievements. And uh, unfortunately, the world has a uh, uh, hacked uh, uh, score, so you kind of have to ignore that. But um, I, I pretty much came on par for almost everything. I mean, I lost nothing. That's kind of cool. I killed a lot more aliens than the rest of the world. I don't know about the average. I think I'm pretty sure the. Wait, one. I'm not sure about that actually. Oh, whatever. I, I'm pretty sure it is glitched up or something. But yeah, so I lost no countries. Um, and base cleared. Yeah, I did everything pretty much on par, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why there's a discrepancy in score there, but whatever. My average shot percentage, which was much higher, uh, mostly I guess because of my uh, positioning, the my sniper heavy squad with scopes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the average damage per shot, they must have modded or something. 24? That's, that's not uh, that's not realistic. Um, got a lot of one shot kills there, uh, more than the average. Once again, sniper heavy. Um, one shot deaths, damn, I had four. Aliens killed by explosives, 69, my favorite number. Got 40 soldiers hired, even though I didn't really use most of them. And and if you were on the list and you didn't get used, I apologize. It, it was a, it was a lottery, as I said from the beginning. Uh, but you know, uh, I got two psionic soldiers. Shot down 11 UFOs. Uh, pretty much everything on par. So this was um this is this is part 40 of my uh, let's play, and so that means it I did 40 missions because it was well actually. A little bit more than that. Sorry, I did like 42. That means, um, and aim assist. I don't even know what that. Is. Oh, that, those, those are the things that I I could have used during the uh, missions for the firestorms and everything. That's kind of neat. Yeah, you see, that's a uh, that's a little bit glitchy, don't you think? <laughs> Nobody has uh, 276,000 scientists. And that's the average too. Someone really brought that number up. Uh, I brought I bought one laboratory though, so it's all worth it. And I captured all all the alien species. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain about that. Um, Ten workshops, 101 items built for some reason. I don't know how I did that. Uh, I guess like a lot of armor and weapons and stuff like that. It's kind of neat. It's good. It's kind of good to see this uh, statistical. Yeah, that's that's inflated once again. Because the average, I was doing the same amount of average. Someone just gave themselves a shit ton of money. So, interesting stuff. Yeah, like, look at this gray market sale stuff. Either they were selling everything or something along those lines. None of my satellites got destroyed. That's great. And uh, first, co first continent covered in 90 days. Third satellite in 60 days. It's nice. Well, that is the end of XCOM, and uh, you know. I, I really like this game. This was really quite good. Um, and I don't think I explained to you how I got this one. I actually, um, I got it as a pre-order bonus for, for Bioshock Infinite I did uh, earlier this year. And, uh, well, just like like two months ago or something like that. Um, this is a pre-order bonus. It, ca it came with it because I pre-ordered Bio uh, Bioshock Infinite. It, they threw in this with it. And I got I guess I got two great games this year for, for the price of one. And that, that was fantastic. And I just tried it one night, and then I, I kind of got addicted to it. And then like, well, hell, now i gotta, now I got to do a, a video series about this. So, And here it is, and that's the end of it. Uh, and I, I, I would highly, highly recommend this. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's based upon a lot of bullshit probability sometimes, but it's a lot of, if you like a whole lot of this, like, tactical planning of, you know, have a, ba have a plan B kind of a thing, don't always depend upon luck even though I do that a lot of the time. I think that's where it really shines. It's really quite a lot of fun. And this was only on classic difficulty, so I I rolled the end there. I won't even lie. I was actually way more worried about it than I sh probably should have been. And then I pretty much just came in with ghost armor. That 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 armor is cheap as shit. I love it. It's so OP. Oh my god. I I'm going to use it for every playthrough I do. I love it. But um I'm I'm really happy with the way we ended this, and uh, and it was it was just it was just a fabulous game. Um, it's still it is glitch it is kind of glitchy. Uh, it has its fair fair share of glitches that you've seen throughout the game, 
Uh, people are hoping that they're going to still fix them. I have my doubts about that because it's been like a, almost half a year now since this game came out uh, originally. So I don't think they have much incentive anymore to actually fix the glitches of it. It's 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 really sad though. They do have a couple mods out for it and things like that. Um, not it's not too mod heavy of a game as far as I know. Uh, and it, it could have been, you know, it's 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 a great great game. It could have been so much better if they had just fixed these glitches and you know supported the community a bit more. Uh, I'm still satisfied, very satisfied. I think it's definitely it, it wasn't a game that came out this year. It actually came out. Uh, uh, about, as I said, half a year ago from the time of me recording this. Um, and it's great. It's, there's really, you know, as I said, that's the only thing you can really complain about is, is you know, maybe it's lost a little bit of depth. I've never played actually the original XCOM, so I, I don't really know. I think, from what I know, it's been simplified uh, slightly. Uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It might be a good thing. Um, but I don't know to what degree. Um, I know the uh, original XCOM was very addicting, and people speak very highly of it whenever whenever you bring it up. Uh, and so, you know, it's something I definitely will try sometime. And there's also things like Im uh, impossible difficulty, which I definitely want to get around to. That's going to be as a part of a stream, not really a part of anything I'd upload for you guys. Um, there's impossible difficulty. There's a whole bunch of second wave options, which are probably even unlocked more now at this point. Uh, I'll show you that at the very end. Um, the credits here and you know and there's things like shivs you can start in different continents so there's definitely a lot of replay uh, replayability here uh you could also kind of rush to the end because uh, i kind of i probably did was over cautious at the end so i was doing probably more missions than warranted be doing but you know it was still as i said 40 part lp it's um and, and roughly on average, I'd say every part was about 20 to 30 minutes, so I'm not I'm not unhappy. I know some took longer than usual, and I had my, my funky montages and music things, but, uh, you know, overall, I, I am very happy with the way it went. I am very glad that there wasn't any game-breaking glitches, which basically prevented me from winning. Because, um, you know, with, with Iron Man, you do take a bit of a risk, because, as I said, it's one save, and if you die, um, that's it. Your save is gone, and you can't you got to restart all over again. So I really didn't have a contingency plan for if I actually lost. Uh, and glad I glad I won. So, uh, I, you know, on classic difficulty, I wasn't really too worried. Impossible is going to be a lot of fun, though, because a lot of the shit you saw me doing here will not be doable in that difficulty. Because it's just, there's so much... Um, it's very difficult to get started out as well. And actually, in this game, actually, as well. Uh, in total, XCOM is a game where it's it's... The difficulty is mostly in starting. But when you get to a point where you get like laser weapons, plasma weapons, all these armors and shit, you can be kind of more ballsy and you're not going to lose people quite as often. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And so, so I apologize if you died, uh, especially tactical LP and Mike Lot. I know so XXX snipes for twenty. I know tactical LP actually made it into the list. So I won the lottery three times. I'm a baller. I gotta say because there's like two hundred, no, sorry, three hundred twenty names, and so I got picked out three times. Sweet. But yeah. So. uh... So you didn't get picked out um, if you wanted to get picked out, but as I said, it's the luck of the draw. I figured it was kind of fun to, to just kind of have everyone's names in here and uh, have them randomly come out. So if you were one of the people in the main squad, I'm sure Mkudo is uh, uh, furiously masturbating to this video throughout the entire time, <laughs> except for the part where uh, he, he wasn't actually used in the final engagement at all. And I kind of figured that would actually be the case because he can't cloak. Which means he'd be the target of every enemy in there. But as I said, I, I totally wrecked it because having two heavies me meant that I... The reason I didn't bring along assaults, by the way, is because uh, my assault... I could have brought him along. Uh, I could have stuck with just one support. Because uh, I didn't really use my support, if you recall. But my support actually had this ability called... Uh, it, lo it makes him overwatch whenever something gets within four tiles or something. Like, it, he automatically takes a reaction shot. And that's a problem because I don't actually want them taking a reaction shot within nine tiles, uh, sorry, within four tiles or whatever. Because um, he would decloak him. I I'm pretty sure because they, then they're all moving around. And it's like oh shit, there's a there's a single assault, and they just all wreck him. They needed to remain cloaked, uh, which means if I do any subsequent playthroughs, probably with Ghost Armor, I probably will not get that over reaction shot, which makes the assaults pretty much less useful. Um, but he gets the other ability instead, but you know, as I said, it's, it's all up to you. 
And, you know, if you want to challenge in this game, there's a lot of things you can do. You can, like, you know, do the second wave options. Um, sniper Heavy is obviously, you know, it's actually interesting to me because, um, you know, you have the aliens and they don't really have, uh, what's I call it? Um, they don't really have long, ra uh, long range uh, weapons at all. The, the, the thing they do have is they have technically that... Um, that they have that light plasma rifle and that confers a plus 10, 10 to aim bonus so that's how they're essentially accurate uh they're more accurate than you every time uh, until you get better weapons that can actually destroy them um but what you have is squad tactics and, and shit like that and that's how you win basically that's ideally how you win um that's kind of interesting uh but like uh but you know they never get any kind of snipers they never get a plasma sniper they never get they never they never have a defined role for that which kind of implies like you know if humans got indoctrinated into that whole alien race thing and became like slaves or whatever would would we be the 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 snipers of the of their race or whatever you know it's it's kind of interesting uh it, it kind of brings that into question because it's like they never they never they never worked on that long range technology or whatever so and it's it's as i said when you bring snipers into your squad you bring something that the aliens can't can't have uh, they can't have rockets either or a whole bunch of other things, but it's the one thing they have is you can have People who are completely safe Unless you bring them into situations that are bad um, I know I had the Archangel armor and I never used it. I never felt the need to use it I I'm not sold on it. I'm just really not I know people some people are just like they're they love it. They think it's the best thing ever um, It's not a part of the way I play and it's It's kind of just me, you know, what can I say? Um like, I, I don't know. As I said, I'm going to definitely do some more runs of this game. It's going to be definitely one of those things I kind of just uh, bring on. You know, it's 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 one of those kind of for fun games that you always kind of come back to. And there hasn't really been one of those kinds of games in a while where it's 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 replayable almost infinitely. And you get like... I know the maps aren't random. It would have been nice if they had some kind of modding capability in terms of that. Maybe there is. I don't know, actually. Don't, don't quote me on that quite yet. Um... But there is a lot of replay replayability, more than with, with a lot of other games that you actually see me play, because usually it's just a single player campaign. It's like, well, you know, this is there, and you never like you can't do anything else with it. Well, no, there's a there's a difficulty above this, and then there's a whole bunch of second wave options, and then there's different ways you can play. And so, if you want, you can artificially handicap yourself and just like you know, uh, like you know that crazy video I had um, on uh, basically an all shift squad. That was actually something I intend to do sometime for a stream. Is basically uh, rush to shivs and keep the shivs at all times and just have like is like just shiv shiv team alpha or whatever and just have one per because you always have to have one person also by the way i forgot to mention that last cutscene. I, I didn't mention it but i'm cutting that out because i didn't want to interrupt the cutscene for you guys um it was fucking hilarious how one of the one of my teammates was uh, uh cloaked and it actually sh he showed up as cloaked in the cutscene. uh i i was actually laughing my ass off which you didn't actually see, hear or see but but that was that was great fun. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to see what a shiv team actually would do. Like, does he like tell? Like, does a does a volunteer go no and just push away the shivs, the poor shivs? Oh god, man! Now I would, now I really want to do that. Ken Levine did this. Oh yeah, Ken Levine. Yeah, whatever. Oh well, no, he he. Well, he helped. He was in the. He didn't do this, but like he's in the special thanks here. He's the one who did Bioshock Infinite, by the way. Uh, he was the lead designer or whatever the hell it's called. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I would definitely highly recommend this. Um, the DLC is kind of worthless, to be honest. It, what the hell is Notch doing here? Notch, get the fuck out! Anyways, um, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, DLC is worthless, so don't really bother with that. It's just, well, it's cosmetic, which I don't mind, but you don't, it's not a requirement. But the, but the, I meant the DLC missions are, like, worthless. They, they could have done a lot more with that, but they didn't, so I'm sad. And I'm gonna cram myself to sleep. And with that, uh, let's go actually have a look. So, uh, because we completed this on Classic Iron Man, we didn't really actually unlock anything. So, uh, I'll just show you, like, Psionic Gift is extremely rare, so I guess the probability of that goes very much down. Uh, satellites in increase in cost with everyone that's built. Obviously something that's... Apparently some of these might be glitched, though. So, this is obviously would make the game a lot harder. And the strategy I did, which is basically rushing satellites, probably wouldn't work quite as well. Uh, rewards are grant... Are Granted for stopping alien. Uh, also, the rewards that you're. You know how it's going for like engineers every time? Uh, this removes that 
choice and it basically goes well we'll just decide for you which you know as i said it's probably better in terms of keeping panic levels levels down so you don't have to like sacrifice countries necessarily it's different a uh, country will offer less funding as panic increases uh something that also adds to difficulty the game takes considerably longer to complete i'm guessing all the little uh uh i'm guessing you get less rewards and uh the the events that happen that you need to like well like i guess research also takes longer as well uh secret psionics can only be learned by interrogating a psionic alien so that would be obviously the uh the ethereals a flanking shot will guarantee a critical hit uh this is something that would be really good over overpowered for shivs because they shivs cannot be flanked and that means every, you can flank really easily with shivs which means you'll always get crits with them and that'd be kind of fun to do uh, anyone's taken in combat will degrade a soldier's stats for that mission, which is um, obviously something that adds a lot to difficulty. Uh, already as it is, if they get down, they lose well, which is why I couldn't use Mr. Shiv after a while. Uh, as a soldier's promoted, their stats will increase randomly. Once again, something that adds a little bit of flair to the game, I guess. Um, rookies will have random starting stats, which is uh, not really that great, because you know then you could have a you could have a sniper with really low aim, you know. So it'd be terrible. Uh, funding, the funding offered by individual council members is randomized, uh, which is once again just a little bit of flair. Once again, uh, weapons have much a much wider range of, range of damage. Someone actually PM me about this, and they're like, "I accidentally added this. Can I remove it?" Because they're they're getting pissed off about it in the middle of the game because it's uh, they can either do a lot of damage or too little, and uh, you know. More often than not, if if you know anything about XCOM, it's basically always always bet on the lowest number, or the the lowest probability. You know, um, there's a multiplayer component to this game. It's really not that interesting though. I've done it like once or twice. It's kind of like, I don't know. I, I I'm not sold on it. I think this is much much more of a better single player game. So with that, uh, I really do hope you enjoyed my little playthrough of this game. And uh, remember, we will always be watching.